We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to The Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today, yeah, we're going to be doing something a bit different. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? Infinite combate. Or combate, or combat, or however you want to say it. Anyhow, uh, long story short, short story long, if you will. This game is by Mages and P-Cube Limited, and it released onto Steam on August 10th, 2020. They did send this code my way. They offered it up and said, play our game. There's a bunch of stuff from P-Cube Limited that they're actually sending my way. So you'll see some stuff popping up from them, and it's much appreciated. Now, uh, by recommendation a while back, a few months ago, I uh, actually hesitantly uh, went and actually watched this anime, or at least a season or two of it, and it was okay. It was a little bit much at times, uh, you know, what with Japan over-sexualizing everything known to man. I mean, you guys know anime, fan service, all that stuff. This one wasn't that bad, but all things considered, it could have just had less. It is what it is. You understand what to expect. You know how you know how the stuff's going to go. Anyway, that being said, the in Steam, there's a little section that does say some scenes depict characters in scantily clad clothing, which you would expect. There are some post-game quests that will see various characters going out on dates, which will end up in them being in a hot spring, which we're not going to go do. And, of course, some dialogue cont contains implied or inferred sexual content. So there's your mature content warning if you were uh, so inclined. Again, we keep this family-friendly. The show wasn't overly bad. Still, it's a bit much. So I'm just throwing that warning out there. We're going to play it. We're going to have some fun with it. We're going to see how it all plays out. Um, yeah. And with that, let's uh, hop in and begin. I had to go do a weird thing with my controller, too. I had to, like, find a, I guess, a customized layout for the controller in order for me to actually be able to play this. It just didn't work directly. There is obviously Japanese voice acting here, so with that being said, I'm going to be talking over all the Japanese voice acting. So my apologies for anyone. Well, here you go, right away, right? Hestia, a long time ago, we gods got bored of spending infinity without any inconvenience. We decided to venture to the lower world to enjoy the vain lives of the children who worked hard each day. The inconvenience of struggling to live puzzled us, but we found joy in the confusion. The gods made a decision. We would throw away our easy lives and enjoy this extremely inconvenient world. We would live here in the lower world and work hard in our daily lives, as our children did. We can offer them only one thing, our blessing, the strength to fight monsters. The children given this power became our servants, our fa familia. This is Labyrinth City Oratio, I guess? Uh, a city built on top of a dungeon, or or a Rio. It's probably or ratio. I have no idea. Uh, I met a boy here shortly after coming to this world. His name is Bell Cronell. He is currently the only member of the Hestia Familia. All right, Bell, Chapter One, Ina's Study Session. All right, let's see what's up. Bell. All right, now I did hear that the gameplay at least starts off relatively simplistic, so it's going to be a lot of, like, chop, 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 dodge, chop, 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 dodge. Um, I'm hoping that it gets more complex as the game goes on. We'll see. Uh, kind of mixed reviews overall in the game, so I don't know. Like I said, P-Cube sent this my way. There's been a few others that they sent my way, and I'm just going to check them out. I'm going to have some fun with it, and you guys make your decision whether it's something you like or not. That being said, gr Grandfather says, Bell. An adventurer needs to pick up his girls. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was kind of a pervert in the, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. You save a weak female adventurer from a hideous monster, she's grateful. And the two of you get to know each other. That's the best part of being an adventurer. Bell, hey, Bell. I'm going to drop the coons and the sons, by the way. It's just, it, it doesn't come out. You don't really hear that in the anime that I have watched over the years. You don't hear that in the, the English version of it, so I'm just going to cut it out because it just, I don't know, it feels wrong, condescending, just weird coming out of my mouth, so just, I'm dropping it. Um, and there's Hestia. Alright. Oh, goddess. Your face looks so happy. Did I appear in your dreams? She's totally into him. He's kind of oblivious. You'll see. <laughs> no goddess. Belle Cornell, level one adventurer. 
All right. Ah, uh, at least give me hope. You really are too honest. Hestia, Hestia Familia, a main goddess. All right. S sorry. Ah, don't be. It's your strength, Bell. <laughs> By the way, Bell, are you going to the dungeon again today? Yeah, I am. I have to do my best to become as strong as fast as possible. Become strong as fast as possible. It's good to do your best, but you just became an adventurer. Don't get reckless. If something happened to you, I would cry for the rest of my life. Don't forget that. A little over the top. She's a little dramatic, I would say. I know, goddess. All right. You never, under you never understand my feelings. You don't understand a girl's heart at all. Goddess, I'm going to the dungeon now. Please be careful. So, got it. Well, I'm off. So you've met Captain Obvious. He's Captain Oblivious. Totally the same, but completely different. All right, it looks like there's a few things that we can do. I assume none of them are really super important this point so let's just continue with the story i assume it's gonna allow us to get into a mission pretty soon study with aina uh part one client aina tool or tule or tu tule tule tuli i got nothing uh quest reward 1000 valis which looks like it's money in the top right corner a hundred skill points some medicinal herbs let's get used to adventuring in the dungeon if you feel in danger you can always return to leave the dungeon go defeat three goblins all right uh, no. Why would I skip the scene? W where is Aina? Oh, Belle. Aina, hello. Aina, Aina maybe? Are you going to the dungeon now? Aina Tool. We're just going to go with that. Guild staff. Yes, I'm going to a lower floor today. Are you getting used to exploring the dungeon? Yep. Good, good. Belle, can you give me a little time before you end up going to the dungeon? Sure, is uh, something wrong? Many adventurers get into trouble, even when they're used to exploring the dungeon. So, I see. Hmm. What's that face for? Uh, I never get carried away, so this is pointless. Belle, don't be arrogant. It's vital that you review your own performance. And now that you're getting used to it, I think you should review the basics. Oh no, Aina is a strict teacher. Ah, uh, we'll view the tutorial, why not? Okay, I'll see what Aina has to teach me. I still think Aina sounds better, but yeah, we'll go with it. Uh, I will explain how to proceed through the story. You advance the story by completing story quests. There's uh, one point to know. Story quests aren't issued in the guild, although they do issue other quests. Okay. Do you see the story button on the main screen? I do. Selecting the story button starts a story quest. One more thing. Uh, after HP decreases to zero during a story quest, it's Game Over. You lose all your skill points and items you collected in the dungeon, so do be careful. If you escape a dungeon, you'll keep your skill points, but will lose all the items that you've gathered. That means that you need to be prepared to give up and return if the situation turns bad. When you successfully complete a story quest, the story will advance. All right. This is your adventure, Belle, but I'm here to support you. All right. I guess I'm here for it. Take care. If you think it's too dangerous, make sure you return, okay? Hi. Got it. Do you want to view the dungeon tutorial? Sure. Let's get all the tutorials out of the way, understand what we're doing, and get on after it. You can explore the dungeon during quests. Completing the quest objectives will finish the quest. Uh, check the quest details to view the objectives. Looks like there's time limits. These include collecting items and defeating monsters. There are two ways to fail a quest. Running out of HP and time. Yep. Uh, each quest is a different time limit. Make sure you check it. Some of them don't have it. Keep it to avoid. Yep. You can also return when on a quest. Small amount of points. You lose all your items. Can't complete. Best of options. To return versus uh, dying. Let's look at attacking. There are three types of attack. Weak, strong, and magic. Small, or I guess weak attacks, are small, continuous hits that add up to perform decent damage. Big attacks can hit enemies in a wider area, but there's also a longer interval before performing the next strike. Uh, magic attacks consume MP and can damage enemies at a distance. Progress in the story to unlock Bell's magic attack. Use different attacks in each situation to proceed through the dungeon. Let's discuss skills. You can use two types of skills, support character active skills, 
and the skills of the player character. Okay. Uh, when the skill meter of the support character is there, you press Q or E. I guess it's one of the shoulder buttons or L2, R2, something like that, uh, to activate it. Or when the player character is full, you can do the same thing. Skill meter fills by attacking monsters. Lastly, let's go over item a usage. And the up, down, left, right keys. Got it. Press the corresponding button all over it. Item can't be used. There's a number that you can take in, and it's limited. Consider what you want to bring. Success. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, study with Aina. Aina, Ina. I, I don't know. Uh, defeat three goblins. All right. Move around. Wow, we're really on like a rigid. I wouldn't go diagonal, but it's like locked in diagonal. All right, well, whatever. So that's the uh, choppity chop attack. Okay. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Oh, that's a that's a. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, I got it. I'm all over it. I know what I'm doing. Hit 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 hit, and run away. Cool. Oh, ow. I misaligned myself. I already got hit. I suck. Hit, 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 hit. Got it. Oh no, I didn't pick up the other item. I feel like that was a mistake. So when I defeated all three, that would have been the end of the quest. Makes sense. I got it, I got it. Yeah. Welcome back. How was the quest? Hey, it went well, except I got hit by a goblin like a loser. You want to go into the dungeon again, right? Well, let me know when you're ready. Uh, got it. Alright, that's fine. Okay, uh, study with uh, you know, the goblins. Okay, we got Valus. We got some skill points. Wait, quest fee? Well, there was a fee? Wait, were all of these? I'm, I'm so confused. Oh, that's quest reward over there. That's the quest fee over there. Why does it say quest fee? You know what? It's cool. I think we got the thousand and the hundred or three hundred, whatever it was. All right, our status is up. It looks like we didn't level, but our skills still went up. All right. So our HP went up, our strength went up, our vitality, our dexterity did not, our agility did, our attack went up by what, 24 points, and our defense went up by a bit. All right. I mean, sure. Let's go to Familia? Do you want to view- Sure. Hit me with them tutorials. You can enhance character stats at the Familia. Oh, sh skill sheets are used to enhance a character's stats in any way that you would like. Okay. Obtaining skills requires skill points which are gained by defeating monsters in the dungeon. Okay, that makes sense. If you are lacking skill points, you should go on a practice quest to gain more. Skills increase attack power and defense. They can also increase the drop rate of magic stones, amongst other effects. Uh, it's up to you to unlock skills in any order you want. Raise your player's your player character stats as you like. In addition to skill sheets, the Familia menu also allows you to check your current status and change equipment. If you're finding it difficult to complete a quest, consider enhancing your character's skills. Also think about changing their equipment. Sounds like a party to me. Um, so the skill sheet, the way it worked in the show, uh, the, you have some sort of weird tattoo on your back, and your goddess, god, whatever, would actually go and check it and somehow just get like a print out of it or something. I, it's a weird show, but it's a, it wasn't bad, like I said. All right, so we have, I assume, some skill points. We have 103. So strength, uh, it just increases strength, but we don't know what strength actually does. This is vitality, this is dexterity. And that's agility. Now here we can increase our dagger skill, we can increase sword skill, large sword skill. Earned skill? Art enhancement. Interesting. Um. 
Vitality seems to directly increase... Oh, so strength actually directly increases weapon. Okay. So... Oh, of course, 100 skill points? Oh my god, that's so much more than I was expecting. Alright, hold on, we're gonna, we're gonna back out of this. Uh... Well, did, couldn't we learn specific skills? I thought they said that. We can change equipment, but I don't think we have any equipment to change. Red bean potatoes. Uh, do I want to equip it? Sure. There we go. Hmm. Let's go to the market real quick. I'm just curious. I, I don't think I need a market tutorial, but sure. At the market, you can buy and sell various items and enhance your equipment. Sure. Uh, to buy weapons, armors, and items, you need a Valus, okay? If you're lacking Valus, defeat monsters in the dungeon, collect magic stones. You can also sell your items for Valus. Or Valus. Uh, by selling items, new weapons and armor will become available at the market. Oh, that's cool. Information on the items that are required to add weapons and armor can be obtained from the smith owner. By the smith owner at any time. Next, let's look at uh, equipment enhancing and adding attributes or attributes. So by enhancing weapons and armor, you can increase their stats. Okay, a knife to a knife plus one. I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, there are five levels of enchantment from plus one to plus five. The higher the level, the better the stats. You can also grant attributes to weapons. One elemental attribute can be granted to a single weapon, earth, aqua, fire, wind, light, or dark. If they've gone with water, they went with aqua, it's fine. Granting an attribute requires a corresponding attribute item. Enemies will be weak to one of the elemental attributes. There is no way to reduce elemental damage taken. As the difficulty level of the dungeon increases, attribute damage becomes more and more important. If you are finding it difficult to complete a quest, make sure you enhance your equipment. Next, I'll describe the steps for enhancement. Enter the screen. Items that you possess. Cure E to switch between armor. Switching does not grant attribute. Selecting the item you want to enhance, then allocate a number of items you wish to donate for points. You must allocate a certain number of points in order to enhance an item. Different items will give different number of points. Items from monsters on deeper floors will generally provide greater numbers of points. Uh, you can use the W or S key, it doesn't matter. Um, drop an item or A and D to enter a quantity. Sure. When the value of selected points is equal to the required points to enhance, you can successfully enhance. Cool. This is all for enhancement. Next, let's cover gaining an attribute or granting an attribute. All right, this is almost exactly the same. Uh-huh. Selected desired, only one attribute, change the weapon, repeat the process. Don't forget to equip it. Lastly, buying and selling equipped items. First, select the item you want to buy and choose the amount. You can possess 99 of any item. Select an item with the up and down buttons and use the left and right buttons to allocate an amount. You can't buy items if you do not possess the required ballas. After purchasing items, you will be asked if you want to equip them straight away. Selecting no will return you to the top of the purchase screen. Selecting yes will take you to the equipment. Uh, up and down, left and right. Okay, all over it. Position the items. Yep. Yep. You can only carry nine of a single item in any one slot. Okay. If you have more than nine items in your possession, they are automatically set to the maximum of nine. You can assign a single item to... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all simple. It's all easy. Uh, I just want to see, what do you have? Do you have, like, actual what you do? But holy heck. Every okay, so everything's way too expensive for us to really do anything right now. Alright, let's just back out. Let's go to the guild. I don't want to do another story mission. Let's go just said something about getting experience from practice missions. Do I want... Ah, uh, sure. I'll explain about issue quests and practice quests. Alright. The guild handles two types of quests. The purpose of issue quests is to solve various issues that townspeople may have. Completing issue quests uh, rewards various items. All right. Practice quests are best used to collect skill points and collect dropped items. Just like story quest, game over. Okay. Recommend checking the difficulty before taking it on. Good luck. All right. Good luck, Commander. Let's uh, let's quest. Let's do this thing. I'm ready. Um. Yeah, this is probably gonna go horribly wrong. Let's go do this. What could possibly go bad, right? Alright. We are preparing game over. Practice quest. Reach the stairs to the fifth floor. Quest start. Link start. No, that's a, that's a different game altogether. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, there's so many of them. Alright. 
<laughs> Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. And one, and a two, and down you go, Mr. Shmoo. We got some gobble boys over here. Oh no, oh, oh, why did he face the wrong direction? Oh my goodness, what the heck was that? He just turned 180 and just was like, deuce deuce. Dude, I'm getting beat down. This is terrible. I'm embarrassed at me getting hit here. Also, I seem to be, like, delayed when I didn't jump immediately. See, like, right there. I think I had to time it so I jump right at the end of the, the combo or, or it stops me. I mean, I only have, like, 40-something hit points. I got hit, like, for, like, 20 already. It's not good. Thankfully, we have some healing options, but... Still, like I said, I'm a little bit embarrassed. Oh, oh, these guys look a lot more difficult. They're not really, though. They go down pretty quick. Alright, let's go after you. Oh, he didn't want to step into it. He's like, nah. Right, I'll just finish you with that. Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. Alright, what's next? Another one of you guys? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh, they hit much harder, yeah. I'll make sure that I'm careful with my timing, otherwise... I'm gonna get wrecked. I'm gonna get rolled by these guys. Nah, I ain't no... Oh, no, 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 I didn't... Uh, can I go back up? Nope, apparently once you go down a stair, you can't go back up. Well, I wasn't ready to go down, man. That that kind of oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. You guys seem very upset. All right. Well, so far it is very, very, very simplistic. I am gonna go ahead and heal. A little. Well, only heal me for eleven. That was not much. I'll do one more. There we go. All right, what's over here? Oh, some boys, some some little goblin boys. All right, simple enough, easy, 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 easy. All right, come on, Mr. Ed, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with your bad self? All right, cool. I mixed in like a heavy attack there. Man, I'm still bummed out that I let that one guy go because I accidentally ran down the stairs like a nooblet. Like a nooblet of noobitude. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh I could have gotten one more swing in there. And then, uh, alright, is that it? Nope. Well, there's a lot of hee ha hee ha hee ha 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 hee ha ha hee ha ha Which I'm not real thrilled like that's the sound effect, but you know what, it's alright. I feel like they could have put a maybe a little tiny bit more effort in a little sound there, but you know what? It's it's fine. Having too much variety would just be uh, like overly you know, like needless, I suppose. So I'm I'm fine with it. Do we have a map? We do have a map. Okay. So I'm gonna go around the big square first. Ooh. I'm gonna go around the big square first, and then we're gonna see where we go. For. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. That's great. Surprise! Alright, down he goes. Where's his friend? Over here. I was kind of hoping to get them both in with this. But apparently that's just not how this works. Alright, we took him down. I mean, that was fine. Alright, so let's go around the big square. We'll run left around and then we'll go all the way around. Let's see. Oh, we got some more of the, the big boys. Oh, jeez. Come on, guys. Of course he gets stuck on the wall. Alright, so if you can trigger them to start swinging, you can just go behind them. They seem to turn real slow styles. Which I'm okay with. Alright, 
Oh. Big, big old giant delay there. When you use that, like, heavier attack, this is this huge, like, three or four second delay before you can do anything again. Alright, I'm gonna come back to you in a minute. Come on over here. And I want to say that we're... Basically done on this side? Oh, oh, who, oh, where did these guys come from? There we go. Well, a couple of easy goblin kills. Oh. What? Hit, 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 hit. All right, simple and easy, sweet, sweet, nice stones with a Z. It is real basic right now. I'm hoping that like additional skills and things are gonna like kind of liven it up, but it's it's super super simple right now. It's literally like a five or six hit combo, and then just dodge away and rinse and repeat. All right. Very, very, very straightforward. I mean, that's about as straightforward as you could expect. I'm reserving judgment, though. I'm not like I'm not upset with it at this point. We'll see how it goes as like time goes on. If it doesn't like get more, I don't say more interesting, but like more complex, there's like more to it, then I I might get a little bit less happy about it. Woo. Eh, 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 and uh, all right. So took care of those guys. Uh, we seem to be fine. Are we on the fourth floor right now? I feel like we are. So we just got to make it to the stairs of the fifth floor, and we're gonna be set. I say I'm sure that that was a trap that I just avoided because I'm awesome. Uh oh, uh oh, 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 oh! They they freaked out by that. All right. All right, anything else? No, we're just kind of annihilating them. We got 113 crystals, gems. I, I don't. I'm not real sure. Well, I hope you like hearing a little baby dude screaming, little goblin boys screaming. It sounds like we're gonna be hearing a lot of. Oh, we're gonna be hearing a lot of that. All right. Oh, we got another couple that just uh, joined in up there. All right, we got those guys dropped. Oh, there's three. Oh. <laughs> All right, almost done, guys and gals. I dare say. All right, we got one left to go. Got him. All right, I think that's it. Let's double check our map. That looks like that's it. Let's go through. Is this the fifth level stairs? I think it is. Quest cleared. Yeah. All right. The client was no one. This is just, a, I guess, a practice level for us. We collected uh, magic stones, skill points, and dropped items from the first through the fourth floors. Okay, and we got all those items, uh, the tusk, the sharp nails, the other tusk, some medicinal herbs, potions, and all sorts of stuff. That's good. It's really good to see. All right, so at this point, let's go to the market. Can We, we can sell things at the market, right? So what can we sell? Can we sell, like, the, the different items that we picked up? Like, yeah, like the drop items. Um... Oh, these have powers. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. I'm gonna sell like four of them. Alright, what if. No, no, no. What if. What if we were to grant an attribute to our knife? I have no idea if this is like a, a viable or like logical thing. We need 15 points to enhance. We can only do Earth, because I guess that's what all the things are. Select the drop we need. 
we need a total of 15 points. I think we can just do that straight up off the goblin tusks alone. Alright, there we go. So now we have... Now we have ourselves a little bit of something going on there. And then let's go to enhance. I mean, I guess. I mean, why not? Okay, I'm sure we can do this as well. There we are. And now our weapon just does a little bit more. Um, we need more points, okay. So now we're slightly better off than we were before, I suppose. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that is going to do it for this first episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game information on the developer, the publisher, any of that wonderful fun stuff, will all be down below in the description of the video and various links and things of that nature, just like it always is. And go ahead and do all the YouTube stuff if you guys want. Like, subscribe, share, do long... You, you understand. You know what's going on. And until the very next episode, my name has been Bumpy McSquiggums. I have been your host. I want to thank you guys for stopping by the Freak Show. And always remember, we play, we fight, we conquer.